currently leaving Seward Harbor in Alaska. We are here in Alaska. We got Captain Garrett on the boat today and we are going out with off the dock charters. It's just Victor and I fishing today so we should have an absolutely epic time. I am very excited. This is day one of fishing in Alaska so wish us luck. I hope you guys enjoy. I don't think I'll ever get used to this view behind me. It's absolutely beautiful regardless of what time of the day it is. These are silver, silver salmon carcasses. Silver carcasses from yesterday. So you can thank the gentleman from yesterday to catch your bait today. Thank you, boys. It's a rotation. Then you'll catch people's. We are with me tomorrow, but then you'll catch y'all's bait for tomorrow. <laughs> and so on, so on, so on. So two pound lead. Two pound lead weight on a slider to let out the. Uh, Today we don't have it, but in rough weather, the weight will slide up and down while the bait will kind of stay still. But 100 pound mainline, 300 pound slider, 250 pound fluorocarbon leader. Holy smokes. Yeah, we, uh, we're going for big ones. You want to drop it nice and smooth. And the reason being is your bait on the way down is going to be doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And if you drop it too fast or just let it bomb to bottom, it's going to wrap around your mainline. The big fish comes along, eats it. Everything's gonna be wrapped up. He's gonna run. We're gonna break them off, and I'm gonna cry. But how about a flat? And their eyes are on top of their head, so they're always looking up. So if we leave it on bottom, they gotta flip upside down to eat it. They're not gonna do that. So what we want to do is when we hit bottom, we're at about 150 feet. Just hit bottom. Throw the lever all the way forward. Put in the rod holder. They're like tuna fishing. I want to do one, two. Three. Three cranks. A bite is gonna look like this. So how they got big crushes in the back of their mouth. So they're gonna swim up and grab it and try to kill it. They're stupid, they don't know it's already dead. So a bite's gonna look like this. And the more aggressive that is, the bigger the fish. That's when I don't want you to freak out. I just want you to come stand next to the rod, all right? When you freak out is when you hear me screaming to reel, but the rod is gonna look like this. When I point it at the water, I need 10 hard cranks, like caveman style, like want to kill stuff kind of crank. So after 10 cranks, if he's still on there, that hooks through his lip and he's ours, baby. All right guys, so we are anchored in 170 feet and we have two salmon carcasses down on these rods for the halibut. And we've already had a couple bites and Victor is using a jig over here. A giant grub. A giant grub on a jig. And this rod is literally getting a bite right now. You tell me when. Uh, uh, Look at this thing. We're getting a bite. It's aggressive. So let's just do that and just play with it? Yeah, no, they'll do it all the time. They'll go like this rod and not like it. They'll go over here, go to this rod, and all of a sudden they're going to find one they like, and it's going to go like point at the water. First, there was a bite on that rod, and then went to this rod. Get real, quick, 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 Am I fighting this thing in the rod holder the whole time? Yeah, yeah leave it in the rod holder. Okay. Unless you want to kill your back. That's a good one right there. Look at those freaking Dude. head shakes, man. Yeah, this this fish looks like it's going to be bigger. We had a couple of bites on... Look at it, Vic. Look at it. Oh, Take I right. can see it. The whole world can see. Um, so we had a couple of bites on these rods, and then Victor actually caught one on the jig. And now we are hooked up on the freaking salmon carcass. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, that's the big carcass too. Yeah, I like it. Should I fight it out of the Yeah, water? and then What's you that? can talk to me. Look, Look at, at this it. fish, it's going, it's scooting. I think I want to fight it out of the rod holder. All right, took the rod out of the rod holder. I need to catch my fish not in the rod holder. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. 
It's like dead weight. It's a piece of plywood. It's a very good comparison. Ooh! How many runs? <laughs> Garrett's getting the harpoon ready. I gotta get my killing stuff ready. So same thing, when I get colored, and I tell you Move to, up put your butt that way and the rod tip towards me. So what's it feel like, Rug? It literally feels like I'm... A rock? Yeah, like I'm pulling up the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> yep, he's coming up straight up the water. Just like I said. Roll over. Oh, baby. That's a good one. That's a 500 pounder. All right, here's good? Yeah, we're good. Rock it up just a little bit. Harpoon gas! Harpoon gas! Harpoon came out. Oh, good, he's in the boat. Oh, there he is! Say my name! Oh my god! Spin the rodeo! Man! There's another, another 80 pounder. Y'all got brother and sister today. <laughs> Woohoo! Good job, babe. Such a sick fish. Look at that giant hook. Heck yeah. Look at that triangle tail. That's huge. This one is a lot lighter than the one yes. you caught. Heck yeah, give me a high five, Vic. Get it, girl. First fish in Alaska is a freaking 80 pound halibut. I mean, come on. There's the one that Victor caught. Literally, they're twins. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at that cool pattern on the tail. I know. Let's see what you're oh yeah, what is this about? They all got different spots on them. What? See, look, see how you're a friend? Wow. It's kind of like a... Kind of like a manta ray. They all got like different spots, and we really have like identical fish. Literally, don't when they get bigger, do they get thicker or oh, yeah, like longer be, too? Yeah, they'll be this tall. Wow. <sighs> I think you might. Yours is bigger than mine, Mike. Not by yeah, much. Ten pounds. Maybe. Okay. Uh, Give or take ten pounds. I mean, when you're dealing with close to hundred pound fish. How epic is that? Let's see. Should oh. I put my Grunin's jacket on? Um, you should put something on this. Here, hang on, hang on. Let's do this. Put these pants on. Wow. Look. He's even willing to offer his pants so Brooke doesn't get slimy. Come on. The hospitality. Come on. I have Grunin's bibs, and they're the white ones. And. No, I, I didn't bring them. <laughs> okay, ready? There we go, guys. Giant halibut. This is literally my first fish in Alaska. It's a freaking 80 pound halibut out here with off the dock charters. Captain Garrett put us on the fish. Victor caught one, I caught one. I can't hold it anymore. <laughs> oh, baby. Literally, they're like twin sized fish. Absolutely incredible. Look at them. They really are so close in size. All right guys, so if you don't know anything about halibut, you got one dark side, one white side. They sit, up, they sit on the bottom, this side up, and they have eyes only on this side of their head. Check this out. So you got the two eyes on this side of the head, but actually when flounder and halibut are born, they got eyes on both sides of the head, and the one eye comes over, Garrett said after what, 20 days? 20 days, first 20 days, it rotates all the way over. After 20 days, they get to both sides, I mean, it comes to the one side, so then you just have the eyes on the one side of the head. And th so they're looking up, so these baits are not on the bottom, they're off the bottom a little so that they can see them to eat. They're thick. This thing's gotta be, what, seven, eight inches thick? Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect, crazy. Perfect evolution of fish. So predators, when they're looking down, it looks just like the bottom. And then when the fish is off the bottom, you're showing white, it looks like the sky. It's a perfect way to avoid predators. They're incredible creatures. Literally, I've caught flounder before. That I, the biggest flounder I probably caught was like 15 inches. So this is just absolutely incredible. And check out these things. Garrett said these are called sea lice. Can you see that? I don't think mine has that, Vic. Hmm, interesting. 
All right guys, so that was our mission this morning was to catch these big halibut. Garrett was only gonna dedicate a couple hours to this today because we're gonna be fishing with him the next three days and he thought that Saturday might be better for the opportunity to catch them, but he figured why not do a couple hours of it today and success, <laughs> absolutely incredible. I am out of this world happy. And uh, Victor caught his on the jig, I caught mine on the dead salmon bait. And now we're gonna go try to catch some new species to knock, off, fish. To knock off the bucket list. So, very excited. I think it's pretty incredible. He was saying that the average state fish size for halibut is 14 pounds. And for our first two Alaskan fish, we got super spoiled with probably like a 70 and an 80 pounder. Incredible. Incredible. So, so cool. Literally, the first two fish we ever catch in Alaska are freaking ginormous halibut. Like, so cool. The halibut are in the fish box and we bled them first. Bled them first before we put them in there, but it is so cold in Alaska that you don't even need to ice down your fish. We threw some fresh salt water in there that's also freezing cold, but don't even have to worry about icing your fish down because it's so cold out here in Alaska. <laughs> so this is the same thing Victor caught his halibut on. I'm, now we have moved spots and we are drifting for rockfish. Possibly also have the chance of catching a lingcod here. So we're in 160 and we're just drifting now over some rock piles. Got him! Uh -huh. Big yellow. Mm, look at that, not even hooked. Barely no. hooked, oh my gosh, it's gonna fall off. Get her one, and then we'll probably have to leave because if we keep rock fishing here, if we keep catching yellow, I'll have to deep water release them. So we'll go to a spot that's specifically black rock. Ooh! Oh, that's one. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Wow. That looks that's nice. That's a good one. <gasps> oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, oh no. Keep reeling. Oh, he's gone, isn't he? Oh. Oh, that was a good one, Brooke. I didn't wow. have mine pull drag. He keeps pulling. Ooh, there he is. Crank, crank, crank. Yes. There we go. Keep him glued. Yay! There we go. I finally got one to stick. Hopefully he stays glued. Oof. Good fish, Brooke. Heavy little guys. So yeah, this guy's getting easier because air bladder probably just blue. There he is, jumbo yellow. Nice, Brooke. Wow. That's a good one. Beauty. Oh, crappy gap from the cap to the park. Nice. Let's wow. go kill some black rockfish. There is my first yellow eye rockfish. When we were in California, we also caught some rockfish, but we didn't catch any of these guys. Oh, he's peeing all over me. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Uh-huh. What the heck? It does look yellow, too. Um, but you're only allowed one of these per person and we've already caught our three so we're gonna move to try to catch some black rock fish but absolutely beauty you said these are your favorite fish to eat right that and king salmon yes they are very very good i'm excited to eat this thing it's Just absolutely good, beautiful meat, slow growing white meat. huge mouth too this this fish has as big a mouth as the halibut in the box which is insane yeah Isn't that is true yeah literally the halibut has like 60 pounds on this guy and they got the same mouth <laughs> and they eat the same jig <laughs> yeah that big old put it next to his mouth let me see big old grub right next to your rockfish yeah you see all the teeth marks from the other ones uh-huh tails missing all chewed up these things slay yeah literally these things work good huh
play my big halibut because I'm a little intimidated to play that big of a fish, so he's going to show you guys how to do it. He does it all the time. <laughs> you want me to explain it or just do it? Um, oh. You can explain it if you want. and this is what we brought our fish home in. These three 50 pound boxes. And we just opened the first one and they're packaged in these styrofoam coolers. And the fish is completely frozen solid. Got some rock fish, salmon, I believe this is Lincoln. That's the only thing that I'm slightly disappointed on was I thought everything was gonna be labeled. But this is the only box we've opened up so far, so maybe it'll be easier to tell once I see more. Oh yeah, frozen solid still. And we have a lot of fish to fit into our deep freezer now. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So today I'm actually going to be going to my parents' house to cook lunch. I'm going to do basically fried fish sticks and we're going to be cooking the halibut today. I was supposed to do this last night for dinner, but like an hour before I cooked dinner, both my brothers texted me saying that they couldn't come. So instead we're doing it for lunch. Um, I'm going to be making a homemade tartar sauce. So what I already did was I chopped up some onion as well as pickle into really small pieces. And this is dill pickle, not any of those like sweet pickles. You don't want sweet pickles. And then for the mayonnaise and sour cream part, I'm gonna basically do 50-50 of each. And then also a lot of pepper. So now the way we got the fish home was we brought home three 50 pound boxes from J-Doc. They processed it for us, they vacuum sealed it into, um, I think it was one pound increments. We picked it up just before we headed to the airport and everything was completely solid by the time we got home. I did the math and it was like 21 hours from the time that we picked it up to the time that we got home and opened up the boxes. Everything was still completely frozen solid, which was awesome. And we have a ton of fish. We've been giving it out to friends and neighbors and things like that. Um, 
So like I said, this is halibut, and Victor went ahead and chopped it up for me into basically like fish stick sized pieces. So that's what everything looks like, just like this. That one's a little long, Vic. <laughs> but you know, your typical little like fish stick sized pieces. Now, I'm going to take some milk, hopefully this is enough, and just pour it over this. It's gonna help our seasoning and breading stick. And it's also gonna prevent any of that like fishy taste that could possibly be in there. So now I'm gonna close this up, stick it in the fridge until I'm just ready to head to my parents, and then we'll do all the breading at my parents' house, so I will see you there. All right guys, so we have made it to my parents' house, and we're gonna do a little assembly line to get our fish battered. So we got our fish in the milk, and then we're going into flour, then we're going into egg wash, then we're going into plain panko breadcrumbs, and then we're going into the oil. So, first thing we're going to do is season our flour. So we're gonna do salt. And then we're also gonna hit them with some salt when they come out of the oil as well. Pepper. Onion powder. And garlic powder. From the milk to the flour. You know, halibut has the perfect shape and fillet size for fish sticks, doesn't it, Brooke? Yes, Vic, you are completely correct. It does have the perfect size. Especially when you have someone so kind to prep all of the perfect size pieces for you as well. To the egg wash. To the panko. As much as you try, to not use your fingers to season all these, it ain't gonna happen. Oh yeah, baby, these are gonna be good, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh yeah. Now you do it about 50 more times. Uh, a wonderful lunch that Brooke cooked for us. Um, Alaskan halibut, fried, can't go wrong. It was great. It was a very good lunch, super crispy. Fish turned out great. Uh, this is hands down my favorite way to eat fish. Uh, it's classic. I think I had like five pieces. I, I love it, Brooke, you kill it. It's like the best fried fish ever. Um, phenomenal, thank you. Thank you. I think uh, panko crumbs made it really nice and crunchy. I think it's delicious. Oh, and your tartar sauce is really good. Really nice tartar sauce. Thank you. Good job, bro. I was really looking forward to this dish in particular. When Brooke and I went and caught these halibut in Alaska, I just want you guys to look at this. You got a nice crispy exterior and look at this. This is the perfect, and I mean perfect fish to make fish and chips with. We don't have the chips, but we got lots of fish, and it honestly couldn't have been better. Beautiful golden brown, perfect fish to do it with, the perfect family to eat it with, so good yeah. job, Brooke. <laughs> well, like everyone said, the fish was amazing. You can't go wrong with fried fish. It's easy to make, 
It's delicious and you can basically fry anything. I wanna give a big thank you to Off The Dock Charters for inviting us to Alaska to fish with them. We had an absolutely amazing time. This is going to be the first of, I believe, four videos that I'm making from this trip, as well as Victor is also making a bunch of videos from this trip. And as always, he's uploading before me. So if you guys wanna watch his videos, if you haven't seen them already, I will have them linked down in the description. But I also wanna give you guys a big thank you for supporting us by watching these videos because without you guys, we wouldn't have these opportunities to go on trips like this and to go on all these different kinds of adventures to catch all these new species. So without you guys watching, this wouldn't happen. So thank you, thank you so much from watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting. I appreciate all of it, so thank you guys. If you guys ever get the opportunity to go to Alaska, I highly recommend going. It is definitely a bucket list place. It is absolutely beautiful there. The fishing was incredible. The scenery is amazing. All of the nature is just absolutely beautiful. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.